tuning into Express here on SABC3. And right now we're back in the kitchen with Mr. Michael Willif here. Just before the break, he made a stick blender mayonnaise, which was actually very, very interesting <laughs> right. because like everyone in the studio was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's great. Yeah. But this is it. It came out beautifully. Yeah, it did. Perfect. And now we're going to make the actual salad because we are working with chicken in the kitchen this morning and we're making a beautiful <laughs> coronation chicken salad. Good. All right, so what's the so, first step? Well, the first step dish? is to make is to make the sort of the essence, the curry essence that we're going to use to oh, flavor the mayonnaise. Nice. Right. This is some curry powder. Okay. Which we add in You've got there. some diced onions in there. Great. Yep, and, and a little bit of oil. Okay. And then we're just going to uh, cook that for a shortish while because you just want to, yes. you just want the flavors to bloom a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to add a slice of lemon, a piece of bay leaf. Oh, the whole, whole, whole slice of lemon, yep. just like that. Some red wine. Mm. Some water. <clears throat> and then just a little squeeze of, of tomato paste. Let's give it a bit of body. And you just want to cook this for a very, very short while. All right. Salt and pepper. Oh. And you just really want to create an, an as, uh, an, a, a sort of an essence. That smells divine. Doesn't it smell wonderful? I love the and red wine flavor. And you just cook that for about well. five or ten minutes or so. Okay. Right. So, what we do is we then end up with, as I said, we strain it off. Yes. And you end up with this nice and that's what essence you end off of with. curry. Yeah. All right. Great stuff. Now this was a dish that was created by my cookery teacher in London, yes. Rosemary Hume. She was invited to do a menu for um, a private lunch for Queen Elizabeth II on her coronation day. Okay, And this wow. is a dish that she created. And it was called coronation chicken, sometimes called chicken Elizabeth. Yes. And I'm going to add my own sort of little wrinkle to it. Great stuff. So of course you can make your own coronation <coughs> sa chicken salad at home by SMSing the keyword salad to 33728. We'll send you on the pick and pay shopping list. You can get everything there. Beautiful salad for a hot summer's day. So there we've got some, some creme fraiche, which right. just lightens the just lightens the mayonnaise because you can thick. You can oh, see that it's quite thick. And that now is our you, homemade mayonnaise. If you do this and you put some whole cloves of garlic in the bottom, that could be nice. Um, it makes a really garlicky mayonnaise, and you can see why um, the sauce is called aioli when it's got garlic in, and you can see why it's called the butter of Provence. Yes, because it's got this lovely sort of thick. Right, so that's perfect. Get those that's together, oh, and then wow. <clears throat> you can just add a little touch of of apricot jam. All right. Just a little, little touch of sweetness. And if you've got apricot chutney as well, that, that would work. That could be nice. That would work as well. Oh, I have to have a little taste of that mayonnaise when you're done there. <laughs> let, me, let me see <laughs> what this goes we on. Haven't, we haven't got the essence in yet. Right. So here we've got our... That is some good mayonnaise. Got our curry essence. Wow. And we just... Mm. At the rate you're going on, we're eating salads like this you know, as, a, as a daily meal. Can you imagine how nice this is with crayfish, with perched crayfish? I'm making my mouth water this morning, Mr. Oliver. Right, there we go. All right, let's give it a quick little mix. So there we've got our lovely, our lovely dressing. Now, here we've got some chicken breast poached and okay. sliced. And to that, we're going to add some celery. Beautiful. And some red grapes. You can use white grapes, of course. Try What's and, the idea of grapes. Try and with use the, chicken this, in the seedless one. I try and use the seedless <clears> one. And then yeah. I'm going to add some toasted cashew nuts here. Now, if you want to make this sort of slightly more Italian style of yeah. so you can use hazelnuts. And then you can add fennel seed as well, because fennel seed and hazelnuts and grapes go together really, really well. All right. In fact, the Italians do a kind of flat bread. Um, that they sort of make holes and put grapes on and some fennel seed on top of that. Nice and here we've got some spring onion just to add a little bit of nice Such a crispy stuff going fresh, on there. Fresh, fresh ingredients which yeah. I love. And then we can add our mayonnaise. Of course, if you mayonnaise. have just tuned in, we are making a beautiful coronation chicken salad. You can get the ingredients sent to your phone. You can SMS the keyword salad to 33728. We'll send you on the pick and pay shopping list. Oh, and there we go. That looks lovely. Okay. And I've got some chopped parsley here. I'm going to add some chopped parsley to okay. the to the um, salad, and then maybe just a little bit of salt and pepper. All right. And there we go. And there's done. And then what you want to do is it's you want easy to as that. 
you want to serve this on some nice crisp cos lettuce. As you see, I've just, just put some there already, so we can just pop that in the middle. Oh, wow. That is a chicken dish to impress. So, as they say, winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's it, so winner, winner, chicken dinner. And then we can just put a couple of grapes on top so that the colour shows through. A couple of nuts. And then some parsley and you're done. And that is it. Yep. Look at that, Mr. Well Michael, you're a genius. <laughs> you're a genius. That was our coronation chicken salad. SMS the keyword salad to 33728. We'll send you on all the ingredients that you need. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. have a taste of that. But you've, you've been in the UK. You've spent some time in London. You've studied there. Yeah. So you obviously know the Gordon's Toon Choir. Yes. They are a very prestigious choir as well. Absolutely. It's the school where Prince Charles was. That's the correct. Yes, exactly. Cold showers out in the early morning. Exactly. Yeah. But, but the choir recently <laughs> came to the South African shores and they, they were here at the B&A Water Front. They had a phenomenal, phenomenal performance and of course we thought we couldn't let this opportunity slip through our hands. We had to send our cameras along and catch all the action. Check it out.